back in 1973, one man and one movie was responsible for bringing martial arts to the masses. Bruce, Bruce Lee. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bruce Big Lee's fan. the reason why I like martial, martial arts. arts in movies. Bruce Lee is more than a man. He is a, an idea, a, a legacy. You know, it, he's a, I don't know how to put it. He's like the closest thing to a Jedi you're ever going to get. Enter the Dragon is a timeless movie. We're talking about it now. We'll probably be talking about it in 100 years' time. I've never heard noises like this. You know, it was all that, wow, yeah, yeah, and doing all that. And, and you add that to a kick, and all of a sudden, I don't know why, but that kick hurt so much more. Moviegoers around the world hadn't heard or seen anything like Bruce Lee and the things he could do. This famous scene when he fights the baddie O'Hara is typical of the innovation Lee brought to martial arts movies. The expressions he pulls after he drops somebody, he sort of just drops them and then goes, Whoa! What is Bruce Lee's favourite drink? Water! As well as the kicks and punches, Enter the Dragon featured one of the most famous and iconic weapons in action movie history. Hand's hand, which is a pretty awesome weapon to use to smash everything. I think it looked very good on film and uh, produced those um, iconic scratches down Bruce Lee's chest, which we'll remember forever. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bruce Lee died six days before the movie was released, leaving a huge legacy behind him, but also a sense of loss at what he could have achieved. If Bruce Lee hadn't had his untimely death, he would have gone on to probably be one of the biggest action heroes of our time. There will never be another Bruce Lee, and that's not down to the fact that he was the most famous, just because he was the best, and that says a lot. <laughs>